I just wanted to share my personal experience at the MSF course class. And I'm sure I can relate to most of you here. Um, being a, being someone who has no prior experience, um, no experience whatsoever uh, riding any motor vehicle, um, let alone like a dirt bike or even a mini bike. It's a very intimidating class, especially if you have no prior experience of the, riding any motorbike. Um, and oh my gosh, what is wrong with the, this car, man? Jesus. Hello. And basically, the MSF course class is, um, it's a two-day course. Uh, the first two days, they put you uh, on a bike early morning. And the first part of it is that you ride, and then the second part is, uh, you do the written test and uh, basically they go over all the safety rules, the laws and regulations and um, all the safety stuff and whatnot. Uh, and then the second day you ride a little bit more and then they test you. And you know, for only two days of training, you know, it sounds very in in intimidating. It's a very intimidating course. Um, you know, especially, you know, you're getting put on like a, a fairly decent sized bike. I think the first bike I got was like a Suzuki. It was like a, some kind of road bike. But it only had like 250 cc's. I think people just watch like countless uh, videos of the MSF course class, you know, just repeatedly just on YouTube researching day in, day out. At least that's what I did. Uh, trying to find like, you know, why people failed or uh, trying to just trying to find like comforting like you know just trying to get as much information as you can out of it you know because um, it's intimidating it's like you know you're you're riding essentially you know you're they put you on a bike first thing and um, they put you on the bike first thing and uh, there's like you know a whole class watching you ride <laughs> And like, you know, if you're stalling and you're just riding around, it gets embarrassing and, you know, it's hard to not like, but it's hard to not like, you know, worry about what others think of you, right? And especially when the instructors, you know, um, sometimes people have bad experiences with uh, instructors who are just, you know, assholes, asshole instructors, that, you know, who are very harsh on you. I mean, I, I'm hoping it's for the good reasons but sometimes like they're very very harsh which uh, can demoralize you if you somehow mess up for me i was fortunate enough to to have uh instructors who are very very patient and very very nice you know i think in my course like i think only two people didn't pass and one because one was a no-show and the other one like you know actually three people didn't pass one was a no-show um let me get over here yeah, three people didn't pass. One was a no-show. Uh, the other one it just physically couldn't handle riding. You know, she just had trouble uh, hitting the gears correctly, and uh, she just got it physically just beat her, and she just couldn't do it. And the other one, um, she uh, she laid down her bike like she dropped it. Uh, and you know, it's you know, it's just nerve-wracking. You know, talking about in preparation of that, I think. Uh, I think a lot of people just overthink it, you know what I mean? Um, it's a very informative class. Uh, I would 100% recommend it because there are things that you will learn, like 100%. These are, these guys are old, like these are old guys who are um, instructing class. There's a couple young people there, but mainly these are old guys who've been riding for like 30 years plus under their belt. And, you know, the fact that they're still living, they're surviving, and, you know, they, they come out, like, almost unscathed of, like, any injury uh, means they're doing something right. So when you're picking up a bike, you're shortening your life expectancy, right? But these guys, like, you know, know the workaround and know, like, the necessary precautions of um, what to watch out for, what to look for, you know, the main safety uh, issues in regards to riding a motorcycle versus just, you know, paying however much the skills test is and uh, taking that test without any other people like teaching you the proper safety um, regulations of uh, riding a bike you know
I think it's the most important part is just don't psych yourself out. I think I had trouble, especially because I was just so afraid of, um, I paid so much money for this class and that, you know, I didn't want to have to go through the process of, uh, of um, doing it again or paying another fee to do it again and you know I was I was I was afraid to be embarrassed like you know they're putting me on a bike like right away which is like super scary right like you know you're automatically put on the you know a motorcycle and you're expected to you know just ride it lap it around you know and I was just afraid because like I never really rode a manual car Hey, I know how to ride manual, but not very well, you know, and I hear that if you know how to ride a manual car, it helps, right? So having a clutch use your brakes and switch through gears is like another thing that I should worry about because, you know, I I drive an automatic car and, you know, all these things like come into fact and you just psych yourself out and it's hard not to. And I don't blame anyone if they, they do get psyched out, you know, because not many of us, you know, grew up starting on like a dirt bike you know like a good chunk of people you know started off with dirt bikes so they already have like the basic knowledge of how a motorcycle works you know but still even if you did start with a dirt bike like still take this class because there are things that you will learn in this class that you're you'll be surprised that you just never knew you know what i mean <laughs> damn man like this how you see that like what's going on Oh, that car is doing 100%. 100%. I recommend this cast. Like no matter what, just you know, just take it. Especially if you're just a new rider, or even if you are experienced somewhat in motorcycles, like take this class. You know, you get, you know, not only that you get endorsed after you pass this class, but you know, I think knowledge is key. Anything you do, knowledge is key. The main worry is just don't don't psych yourself out and. I think that's what I did to myself. I, I just psyched myself so much like, you know, you think you're doing yourself a favor by like watching all these YouTube videos of people failing and what not to do in a MSF course class and what what the skills training in the in the class, will, will they, what things will they test you on. Like it psychs you out. Like it's good to, to, to watch a couple videos, like no problem with that. The thing about that is once you watch a couple, you start to, to psych yourself out, which which sucks, you know. Finished my coffee. I went to Voyager Coffee. Very good place. You guys are in, in the area of um, Santa Clara. It is called Voyager Craft Coffee. It's delicious, but parking kind of sucks here. Let this Maserati pass real quick. But yeah, my personal experience was, um, it was a good experience actually, you know, at the class. Um, I felt like I had a lot of fun. Uh, and there's a fellow rider. This guy has a, uh, it seems like a Ninja 400. Very nice. You put on the bike, you start the engine. They basically have you walk the bike first, you know, ride the clutch, uh, back and forth, and then the, um, they have you pull the throttle just a little bit they make you do a couple laps with the throttle and that's about it uh, for the first part and then you know you're doing laps and you're doing turns and you know, they're telling you um, to lean or um, have you on like switching through gears like I think it, I, I don't think you ever really run past second gear in that class so you pretty much go first and second you know third if you're adventurous of course the second day is the skills test which is like you know or everybody watches you um you know do these uh, skill exercises that they expect you to do you know i think they vary too there's there's um i mean you can youtube it there's a whole bunch of skills tests but they only put like a certain amount of them in i forget how many exactly i want to say three three to five exercises in but there's so many exercises you know they got you doing the figure eights counter steering and then um the braking you know they, they have a lot i forget um if you uh youtube you can probably uh find a good amount oh and then one important thing you want to do in um you know when you're trying to get your license and everything do the msf course class first before you take your permit because you're going to go back to dmv anyways to give them your endorsement from that class uh, once you pass it 
Um, my mistake was that I took the permit first, and then I took the class. But it's gonna send me back to the class anyways. It, I mean, uh, once you pass the class, it's gonna send you back to the DMV anyways. Cause you gotta turn it in. Once you turn it in the 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 endorsement, uh, you can just take your permit at the same time to get your license there. You know, the unfortunate part is uh, you have to get a a new license picture. You know, I like my old one. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, uh, they make you take a new one. I asked if I could keep the old one and they didn't let me, which, uh, kind of sucked. <laughs> and it's just kind of crazy that, you know, people can literally get their endorsement, um, right after this two day course, you know, two, three day, I think um, you have options to pick. Um, I think I paid about like 250 for mine. Um, yeah, but it, it's just crazy that, you know, you just get your license and it just go on this thing that's like, that can just sh murder, like go on this bike that can like literally like beat a lot of cars in a drag race, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but you know, don't rush yourself to like, you know, to get something that you're not um, prepared for yet, you know, because uh, don't underestimate these two two wheeled machines. Because even having like a 300 is um, can go pretty dang fast, you know. And uh, I'll talk about um, I think uh, what I think about smaller displacement bikes and bigger displacement bikes in the next video. But for now, I just want to keep it about the you know my personal experience uh, taking the MSF course class. They expect you to, um, you know, have your own set of gloves. They do provide you with a helmet, um, but if you do bring your own, you need a DOT-approved helmet. Wear riding boots. Um, I think my class, the where I took it, I don't know if, if all classes have it, but they did provide me with uh, riding boots. I think I brought a pair of shoes, which I thought was okay for riding. Um, they had me uh, switch to um, one of their uh, riding boots. Which I didn't mind. It was fine. It fit. It fitted me perfectly. I wish I could have took those home. To be honest, they're fairly nice about it. Uh, I think. And, and, and to be honest, um, like I said, it just goes back to ask questions. If you can't hear the instructor, if they tell you to do something, um, don't be afraid to ask. What is this car? I, I don't know if you guys can see this, but what is this car doing? Like literally this. He's going to someone else's lane. I think the scariest part is being put in front of the line. You know, you, when you have to lead your uh, your group ride, um, when you're the first person to do the um, the uh, their obstacle. You know what I mean? Uh, it gets intimidating because you know you're you're the one essentially leading the group. And don't be afraid to ask. Like if you can't hear the instructor, or if you don't know what you're doing, just ask them what you're supposed to do. Like more than less, like they're there to teach you. I was fortunate enough to not have like asshole instructors. Um, by the end of the day, they're there to teach you. Like that's what they're there for. So don't be afraid to ask questions if you don't know what you're doing. Once you pass, go celebrate. You know, it's like graduating from something. You know, um, go celebrate. Don't drink too much. Uh, and then go happy bike shopping, or if you have a bike already, just 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 enjoy you know so that's my experience uh, taking the class um, I found it very enjoyable very knowledgeable it is tiring uh, just because you're just up so early and you know riding takes you know physical work it does but if you guys have any questions or any concerns uh, feel free to let me know